Dude, he committed suicide. Didn't he? Fucking catch up, oh, man. Fuck, nigga. Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Two Shot Factory. How to film violent content in the streets. Honestly, it's hard to film people up front. You gotta be a little courageous. I mean, getting right in there. Like, I backed off a little when he was coming close, then I got back into it and told him, of course, that I'm a doctor because you've seen my videos before. You guys all cool? I'm actually a doctor, actually. Need any help? Yeah, no, we're all. I gave him his I'm actually a doctor, man. His money's. Cup it's okay. I'm, the wait is actually ketchup. It's just yeah. Whoa. It's fucking ketchup, man. It's fucking. Boring. But your knees, your knees, your knees hurt. Claiming his buddy got ketchup all over his money, and although they were fighting earlier, they actually got covered in ketchup. Your knees hurt. Uh, that's me and Matt. Actually, you playing hockey? We were in a little scrap earlier. Wait, this was kind of bizarre. Wait, who's this guy? This guy's fucking. What is that? Is that Luke Robitaille? Son? Son of Luke Robitaille? <laughs> You know, this other dude just comes in on rollerblades, and I was taught about hockey, so I maybe assumed they were friends? No. You ever see Rick Ribbon play? That's uh, this guy right here. <laughs> this guy knows about Rick Ribbon? You're That's not me. talking about Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, you're Rick. Okay, you're. You're, you're not talking about You're the heir of Rick Rippin. Dude, Rick Rippin was fucking MMA, man. He knew. He could scrap, dude. His dad is a fucking boxer. Dude, he committed suicide, didn't he? Oh, that sucks. What, nigga? How's the fucking recording going? Watch out, dude. You got that. Watch out. Don't lose your money. But, like, what's what's with the recording, though? Do you think I'm going to fucking do something weird or what? No, I think uh, you're pretty cool. I like to show yeah. myself, too, because I, I do God, fucking. Yeah. It's super fucking slimy, and I am a good friend. I like, do fucking YouTube it's videos. Slimy. Uh, who is this guy anyway? We gotta give him a name. He looks kind of like Young Johnny Lawrence. So we'll call him Young Johnny Lawrence. Cobra. From Karate Kid, just in case you don't know. I've been watching Cobra Kai, so I know it all. Young Johnny Lawrence gets up. He's like, what? Can we roll that clip? Oh, that sucks. What, nigga? Uh, yeah. How's the fucking recording going? Yeah, I saw him. He was getting pretty close there. So I'm a little concerned about my camera, which is cheap. You know, we're not sporting this camera here. The A7 III. But still, I don't want to get it whacked, so I turn it on myself and say, like, look, I'm on the show, so it's nice and safe. But, but honestly, man, I ain't got shit to wipe my hands off. Well, can you talk to the, the bathroom? Go ask them about the bathroom. They will let you in if you're nice. Just be nice to them. They will let you in, I promise. And don't eat too much spaghetti. Take your fucking the money that he's throwing around everywhere. Back in the old days. You would have been like, to catch Rodney King kind of footage, you would have been like, damn rats, I've been waiting for this all my life. <laughs> and then, this is what happened to him a little while later. See, it was hard filming videos in the old days. You got ransacked. Nowadays, you just do it. But still, there are some people out there that will complain and put out these laws like, oh, it's like my right to say I don't want to film. All you got to do is claim blindness. I'm blind. But I mean, in Canada, the laws are so much more lackadaisical. Not like down in Mississippi. Sir, do not do that, please. Go back. Even nowadays, 80 to 90 percent of incidents go unrecorded. I mean, you got to think about it. Some people aren't prepared. Yeah, low battery. No, don't film them. No, don't, don't film. This happens, you've been around these people like, oh, I should film them. Of course, from a distance you do it, but when you're right there. You have to leave, or I will, tell, I will call the cops. It's way harder. You see this footage, you don't realize often who's filming it, where is it filmed. People don't think about that. They're just like, laugh out loud, <laughs> click, like, share, oh, comment. A lot of people though, all of a sudden when they know someone, like this guy in the video here, oh my God, it's that idiot. Oh, I know that guy. Or what the hell are you doing now? Or the guy filming is like, oh my god, that guy's filming there. Doesn't he know he could get sued? Oh my god. Oh, it's like bylaws no, nowadays. In, in human terms, the fact of the matter is, when they fired Andrew Beckett because he had AIDS, 
they broke the law. I just realized that my buttons were undone for, yeah. How do people film, how do people film this stuff usually? One, the sniper method. Hiding in a car, safe what, place what, what? from afar where you can do anything. This is probably how most of these videos are filmed, whether they be pranks or just weird altercations. No, you're just, just kidding, you know. Two, W5 method, where they have the hidden camera. Who can they trust? We're trying to get as much money as we can, and you're trying to save as much money as you can. We have this video I learned where they use like a shoebox or something and put the camera, like, you know what I mean? Black camera, black box, sitting in a subway restaurant. Simpsons, Apu. Was it Apu? The Lucky Witness. This is, there are tons of these. You're just the there and you just. Oh my god, that guy's so much better than you. You work so hard and you only get like a few hundred views or a few thousand views. This guy got a viral video in one thing. He's so much better than you. <clears throat> Number four, the news camera buddy. The tag along, you know? They go right in there to places like Gaza. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. The fake witness. So, this is like the lucky camera person, but it's already set up. So, you're going in there, you're the other. When he's dead, you gotta make sure that motherfucker's dead. I need 10 minutes to make sure he's dead. And of course, the selfie film guy. Yeah, like that's what I was doing. That's the hardest to do because you're going in solo. You got to film yourself. You got to multitask. You got no backup. You're going in like Luke Skywalker, dude. I don't know. I think you're having a panic attack. I don't think the accident was that severe that you could have been dead badly down. I hope episode nine's going to be good. Most people are just scared to get in there and film, really. We recently filmed this girl in a diner and asked her why she doesn't want to film. Carlos? I'm scared. I might die. I was at Walmart a while ago and this crazy stuff happened. That guy says I didn't scam either. He doesn't know. He wasn't there. Was I a scammer? This is from Walmart a few months ago, back when I had pink eye from letting a family of raccoons have unprotected sex with me. <laughs> yeah. So I go in there with my dad to shop, right? And I'm talking about this kid, I'm talking to this kid about this YouTube video, which he was in. I filmed him in Walmart, more of this kind of filming. So I'm just talking about this YouTube video and you got a guy, possibly a little older, I'd say 40, 45 ish. He looks like one of those rugged kind of semi goatee Pantera members. And he wants me to hurry up some talking. So I start to chill out. My dad comes by from the bathroom, says something to me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, and I'm like trying to talk. Language is that of Mordor. Tell the story. I'm like, okay, I'm just talking to this guy. Goes to the car, say bye to buddy bye -bye. about a minute, maybe 30 seconds after dad goes by. I go out. I start to notice it when I'm going around the corner right to the doors. I'm like, wasn't there like something else here? I'm like, better check the receipt. Some cereal and a couple other things, like some granola bars. Anyway, so I look on the receipt. Yeah, I bought this stuff. Where did it go? So I went back and I started asking the guy, like, where I went. Now this dude is, like, saying, like, you don't have it here. It's obviously not here. Not up in uh, here! Okay, I just want to check. It's, you know. That's the guy who was behind me making the fuss. He has a girlfriend with him. And I don't know who these people are. So all of a sudden I'm asking, once again, uh, they pipe up. She does this time. She's like, Obviously you took it to your car, you scammer. I'm just like, what? I'm like, what are you talking about? Mind your own business. I'm not a scammer. You have no idea what you're talking about. I shop here all the time. Then this lady's telling me to go to customer service. I'm like, okay, just one sec. I'm just trying to double check. I'm not holding up the line. Everyone's going through. The guy calls me a scammer again and says to get over to customer service before he kicks me there. And I'm like, what? And he's, he's saying he's going to kick my ass. You scammer. You're a big poopy scammer. He never even started calling me a scammer until his girlfriend did first. The love of his life. I'm like, whatever, buddy. Bring it on, right? So I walk away, of course. Like, I'm not going to fight him right there. But we get into the customer service. They're going to do something for me, re re reimburse me. Guy comes out of the lineup, and he's like saying I'm... He's calling me a loser. I'm like, you're a you loser. He's like saying he's going to kick my ass. I'm like, go ahead and try it. This manager gets in between this lady. I try to go around her, and she blocks me. I'm like, step aside. Let him come at me. I seriously did. Then he started walking away. And when they started leaving Walmart, they still kept calling me a scammer and swearing a lot. So you're asking, why did I not film it? It's like, no kidding, right? Sometimes you just don't think of it. It's part of being in the moment. But boom, ding, ding, I'm thinking about it. So I go out there. I go up to him. All I can think of is this, like, this stupid dude, where's your, where's, where's your car reference? I don't know. Hey, where's my car? Where's my car, dude? Where's my car? Where's my car, dude? Right there with your partner in crime. Now, how did he know that was my dad's car? Unless he had seen him in the checkout aisle 
and then noticed him when he came by. It seems like he knew it very fast. Why though did nobody ever mention him? And they only called me a scammer. Seems kind of weird, doesn't it? My pardon? They're calling me a scammer. That guy says I didn't scam either. He doesn't know. He wasn't there. Was I a scammer? Everybody has a good day, man. <laughs> What's the problem, man? Am I a loser? Get the fuck away from me. Okay, thank you. You have a good day, man. Why are you running? Why are you running? There was a guy behind me who was sort of with me. I mean, he wasn't backing me up, but he did say, yeah, I saw you, man. I believe you. That guy was crazy. You can hear him in the video saying, let's everyone have a good day. Everybody have a good day, man. <laughs> like I said, they never said anything about my dad. They just said I was a scammer. So this is the fucked up part. After the parking lot incident, I returned to the customer service in Walmart, and then I get the idea, I'm gonna go out there and video record the car Sorry, just to prove to them that I don't have their groceries. They believe me, but I want, I just really want to prove them because I felt like this thing had, so this happens. Where, did, did I bring any, did I bring anything in here? I did. What? A bag. You've got the bag. How did you get that? When was this? You mean in the store? Yeah. You're kidding me. Okay, well I never heard you at all. I was I'm talking. Right there. I banged you with the bag. I this never I'm heard you. This. I'll see you at the car. I never heard you. Okay, we're gonna clear this up. So that's what happened. Okay. Well that would have been nice. Honestly, I did not know about that. He grabbed it from behind me when I was talking to the dude who I mentioned before about the YouTube video. It's like texting and driving. Maybe I should be more responsible, but please, if you're gonna be with a person, you're taking their groceries while they're talking to someone, let them know so they don't get into fights at Walmart with this dude. Thank you. Warning. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyrighted work is illegal. Criminal copyright infringement is investigated by federal law- <laughs> um, Fucking water, man! <sighs> Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Two Shot Factor. Um, uh, uh, what the hell is it? Uh, this is stupid. Where the hell is my thing? Oh, yeah.